Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. And today we are using uh, this sketch from Scrapbook Challenges. And it looks like it's from like 2015. But um, it's a fun sketch. I really enjoyed this one. And I got a little out of my elements here. So I started out with a piece of paper that I had run through my silhouette and I cut these nine holes. And then I wanted to put some acetate behind each one. But as you saw there, I had this stuff called, it's it's made by Goosebumps. Well, it's called Goosebumps Clear Texture Spray and it's super old. I've had it for a very, very long time. And it's made by Sukaneko. And um, it makes everything look watery. So I just put some of that on each one of the acetate pieces that's going behind those circles. And I let that dry. So that was my first step. And then I decided to go ahead and cut off the edge of these, the white piece of paper so that I could create a frame around the entire layout. But I'm just using the same paper that's underneath it as the frame. And I really like how that looks. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive around each one of these circles. And I'm going to put that acetate on there. And the reason I put that uh, Goosebumps stuff on there is um, because I wanted that watery look. And you can kind of see how it looks like water as I'm pulling those pieces apart. And then I do bring it up to the camera here right there, kind of slow, so that you can see the effect. And I really like how that looks. And um, so then I decided, so what I'm using is that the fish paper for is because the photo I have is my daughter and my grandson sitting at the lake. And they are pretend fishing with sticks. And so... Um, I wanted to use that fish paper because I thought that would be like the perfect thing to go with that photo. And then I do have a video that is related to that photo of them fishing and pretending that they actually caught fish. And so there will be a QR code added to this layout at the end um, so that I can link it. You can scan the QR code when you see the scrapbook page and it will link to the actual video of them pretending they're fishing. So if you're interested in knowing more about QR codes, I do have a video from, I believe it's the first of this year, uh, that is about making QR codes and um, how to do that. So you can go and check that video out. I will try to remember to link it down below. Um, I don't always remember, but I'm going to try to remember to do that. Um, so you can check down below as well. And speaking of down below, there will be a list of all of the people playing along with Christie's Beautiful Life um, today down below as well. So go and check those ladies out. Um, what I was doing there is I was just going through some shells and putting some shells down in where these circles are going to be. And I apologize that my head is in the way for quite a bit of this and that my camera is auto-focusing on my head. So um, what I'm doing is I'm just using some Mod Podge and I'm filling in the bottom portion of those circles. So you saw me draw lines where those circles uh, ended at the bottom. And so I'm just putting some glue in there and I want some sand and some shells in each one. And the shells are super tiny. You saw me probably, well hopefully you saw me measuring it up against um, the foam to make sure that it's not going to be standing up higher than the foam. So it's very limiting on what I could use for that particular purpose, but um, it just gives a little added extra um, detail for the layout. Now I did consider putting in some microbeads. You see a little bag of blue microbeads to the right hand side there. I also considered putting in some uh, sequins, but in the end I decided just to leave it with the sand and the shells. And so they're not really shaker pockets, but it does add some detail and it's just kind of fun to add that watery effect. It looks like you're kind of looking into a fishbowl um, when it's all done. So I like how that looks and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So I am popping up the white paper with the clear acetate um, water bubbles, I'll call them. <laughs> I'm popping that up onto some foam tape and it doesn't have to be like really particular uh, where the foam is as long as you can't see it. Uh, when you make a shaker pocket, you do have to make sure that each area is closed off or uh, the, sh the items in the shaker pocket will fall all the way to the bottom. But in this case, I didn't have to worry about that. 
So I'm trimming my photo down, um, just trimming so the white edges are all the same, and I'm going to back it with this piece of paper. That is, paper is just out of my scrap bin, and it is from Photo Play. It's one of their fish collections. I don't recall the name of it, but it is one of their fish collections. And it's all the right colors of blue. I just had to clean my scissors off there. They had some adhesive on them, so I, I was cleaning that off in case you're wondering what I was doing there. And then I'm just layering up some pieces out of my scrap bin behind the photo. I like how that looks. And the photo is going to be in the lower left-hand corner, very much like the sketch uh, calls for. And then I know I want to put some paper here that has uh, this journaling spot or the lined, the lined paper so that I can have a little journaling spot there. And... Um, I am going to end up inking those papers up because the white on the white doesn't really show you any, like, you can't see the layers very well. So I want to add definition in between the layers so that you know that there's more than just a white piece of paper there. There are several pieces that have different textures and different um, colors. So there's a grid, a small grid piece, and then the, the journaling lined, it looks like notebook paper there, and then the white of the background with the circles. So I am gutting that piece that has the uh, notebook paper because um, I find it's very useful for uh, journaling on and so I save as much of that as I can but in this case I'm, I, I'm considering using it as a layer. Um, the colors on the back side of it are just the right colors to uh, add in because of those fish. The fish have the, the green and the turquoise. And so that added another layer in between my two white pieces. But I'm uh, still glad that I inked it up because it just gives more detail and more um, definition. So I'm playing with my layers there and just getting, making sure everything's adhered very well to, to one another. And then I'm going to work on my title. So I pulled out these thickers. These are from Chamel. Um, I think they're from field trip I could be wrong on that but um, they are definitely one of the Chamel collections and then those little tiny blue ones those are from Paige Evans and my title is just gonna say faux fishing because they are not really actually fishing they just have these sticks and it's super cute because my grandson is like pretending he's catching something and my daughter's like what did I catch what did I catch and he says you ca you, you caught a sunfish or a sawfish I don't know which one he said, one of the two. Um, and so it's really cute. And he doesn't have any idea the scale of fish, but he goes on to say that she caught a whale and all of this kind of stuff. So um, it'll there will be a link to that video. So the little turquoise piece that I put in at the top, that is actually just an off cut from a piece of um, post-it note, is just a placeholder for the QR code. It's a good reminder to myself that I need to la leave a spot for that QR code. So that is why I have that there. Now, the little fish bowls, I am cutting those out of a cut apart sheet from Never Grow Up. And I really like the fish bowls. I think they're super cute. And I'm trying to choose three different ones. So different sizes and different fish inside. And I like the way that that looks. And I considered leaving them on their little squares, but I liked the addition of the circular shape since I have all those circles in the background. Um, I liked bringing that into my embellishment layers or embellishment clusters as well. And I am just inking everything with the blue uh, Faded Jeans Distress Oxide ink, and I like how that looks. And then the little buttons that came with Never Grow Up, one of the centers is of a um, of the fish. It's the, pretty much the same as the background paper that I'm using. So I am going to use that as well. And I'm, I just added that right at the end of the X in faux. And I like how that looks. And I'm pulling in some leaves from the um, uh, ephemera pack from Never Grow Up as well. And I like how that's looking. And I am going to fussy cut this little tiny one to go above where it says faux fishing. So again, let me remind you to check out all of the other channels that are playing along in Christy's Beautiful Life. Um, this has been a really fun series. I've enjoyed all of these sketches and um, 
I've been playing along all 30 days, so you can go back and check out every day for the month of March. If you've missed anything on my channel, it will be there. <clears throat> I am popping those little fish bowls up onto some foam tape, and I am adding that dimension. I really like the dimension, and it, it works really well since there are so many layers under my photos. It already has a lot of dimension. This layout is very dimensional because the foam between the white sheet and the background paper as well. So there's a, it's a pretty thick layout, but um, I don't mind that once in a while in my books. I, I think it, add a, it just adds like a lot of fun and something different in your in your album. So I'm using my tweezers there just to hold those things down until the glue kind of sets up just a bit. And I do the same thing with my acrylic box block there just to add a little bit of weight to make that stick on um, until the glue sets. And then I added a little foam to that fish that's at the top of the photo. I like how that looks. He's the last fish in that um, ephemera package that I have there. And so I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm happy with these leaves. There are uh, the same leaves on the background paper. So um, I'm just mimicking that background paper. I think it's supposed to be kind of like kelp or whatever. And so I really like how that looks. And then I am just going to add some enamel dots in gray. And these are from Gina Marie Designs. And they're super inexpensive. They're like two and a half dollars. Um, maybe even a little less than that and I'm adding them so that they look like bubbles floating up and when I do that what I do is I do the bottom two and then the the top one is kind of like down the center of the other two to make it look kind of like a natural flow so there's my finished layout I hope you've enjoyed it I will add journaling and the QR code after the fact um, just because that video is private video for my family and so you're not seeing that QR code on there, but it will get added. And then my daughter also does a lot of the journaling on his pages. So I do leave some of the journaling spots open for her. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.